South Korea says Pyongyang has fired at least eight short-range ballistic missiles from two launch sites near the capital. The launches follow joint U.S.-South Korean naval exercises near Okinawa, involving South Korean destroyers and a U.S. aircraft carrier. In meetings with South Korean and Japanese officials, U.S. nuclear envoy Sung Kim said Washington would respond to such behavior from Pyongyang. We are prepared to make both short- and longer-term adjustments to our military posture as appropriate in responding to any DPRK provocation and as necessary to strengthen both defense and deterrence to protect our allies in the region. New South Korean President Yoon suk yeol has promised to take a hard line with North Korea, advocating the deployment of U.S. strategic assets to the region. Peace activists argue more U.S. weapons and troops will make the country less secure. North Korea feels under military threat and, as a result, develops cheaper deterrents such as weapons of mass destruction. The military imbalance provides North Korea the excuse to develop nuclear weapons and missiles on the ground that it uses military force more effectively. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in 2018 placed a self-imposed moratorium on long-range missile and nuclear testing. Pyongyang had hoped to enter into talks on relief from U.S.-backed U.N. Security Council sanctions. Multiple intelligence sources now say North Korea is ready to conduct its seventh nuclear test, its first such test since 2017. Frank Smith, TRT World, Seoul.